tech stocks have given the best return in the last 40 years. Hello everybody and welcome to Synanomics, the money machine. First half 2023 has been fantastic year for the tech stocks and especially for the Magnificent 7. Let's look at the returns. Alphabet 36%, Microsoft 42%, Apple 49%, Amazon 52%, Nvidia 190%, and Tesla 170%. Well, they're pretty much in a big bull run right now. Apple actually crossed three trillion dollar market cap. It's now trading at $193 and in order to reach three trillion dollar market cap it had to hit 190.4 which of course it has done. Guys three trillion dollar is not a joke. If you take the top six countries of the world US, China, Japan, Germany, India and UK then three trillion is higher than the gross domestic product of any other country of the world other than these six. UK GDP is around three trillion, three to three point one trillion dollar. So Apple alone has been trading at this market cap or this valuation you can call it. City in fact has increased the price target. To 240 and so have the other analysts so that means it has another 30% 30 35% 30, to go Tesla was another one in the news last night it had a spectacular run because it report it reported its deliveries in the second quarter this year Tesla has delivered 466,000 vehicles and actually it produced 490,000 vehicles. Don't forget in Q1, it delivered 423,000 vehicles. So this year, in the first half, combined, Tesla has delivered almost the same vehicle that they delivered last year in the first three quarters. And if you look at that, 2021, the total delivery was 938,000 vehicles. 2022, it was 1.3 million EVs. And 2023 is pretty much on track to deliver 1.8 million electric vehicles. Not only that, in fact, Rivian, who is a small competi competitor for Tesla, they also reported fantastic result. They reported something like 14,000 to be precise, 13,992 trucks and vans in Q2 as compared to the 11,000 that the market was expecting. So these guys are outperforming and it's pretty much in line with this forecast of or guidance of 50,000 vehicles this year. Boyd, BYD, I think that's how, that's how we pronunciate it. That's another electric vehicle company in China. They also reported in first half, first half of 2023, they have doubled their deliveries. And that's pretty much 1.26 million EVs. Yes, you heard that right. 1.26 million. That's the China EV producer. Based on the recent report, in Q2, sorry, in Q1, I think, it was 8.6 percent of the new vehicles that were sold in North America, especially US, were electric vehicles, EVs, as compared to 5.9, the same period last year. So we can see the demand going up pretty much. Well, if you look at overall how te Tesla was able to achieve that, they did a price cut, by the way. And if you remember, Tesla had gone down 
the price had gone down to pretty much hundred dollar last year that was based on the poor demand and increasing interest rate so Tesla has kind of overcome that by slashing the price having said that though they are they have been able to establish the demand it's going to hit their margin guys yes Tesla's gross margin is 18 percent trailing margin and that's going to be impacted definitely a little bit this year because of the price cut having said that it's important or it was important for Tesla to meet the demand and increase the deliveries because many bears yes many bears Tesla bears they were skeptical whether Tesla can deliver something like half a million vehicles per quarter which Tesla has proved it now so if we do the valuation perspective of course it's trading slightly higher at 70 price earning multiple 70 and if you do the DCF modeling take 50 percent growth for next five years and take 14 percent roughly 14 15 percent discount you you will arrive at around 260 dollar that's the valuation if Tesla sorry Tesla continues to grow at 50 percent for the next five years so slightly higher but hey there are a lot of things that these analysts are not taking into account let's look at them cyber truck is supposed to hit the roads at the end of this year but the full-fledged production will be of course next year that's not been accounted for if you look at the 12,000 superchargers which has been opened up for a lot of other uh, companies like Ford and General Motors even Rivian and all of them basically Tesla is going to get something like three to five billion dollar annual revenue from that if you look at FSD software which is full self-driving software which is a true AI that's going to give around 650 billion dollar revenue per year that's not taken into account on top of that battery and the energy storage that contribute around 1.2 billion dollar now and of course let's not forget the services right now it's around two billion dollar revenue and going forward that's going to go up so there are a lot of lot of the pieces out there which is not factored into the price when we calculate the price earning ratio so even though it looks slightly expensive or very expensive I should say at 70 multiple guys if Tesla is going to deliver its promise and increase the EVs production and delivery I think this could be the right time to buy you can buy in small chunks which which is called dollar cost averaging every time Tesla takes a dip is very volatile stock anyway both Tesla and Nvidia has been quite volatile as compared to Apple or Microsoft for that matter so every time Tesla goes down you should be picking some of them having said that these are not the recommendations guys you should consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions so that was that was pretty much for today I'll come back again with a new update for you if you like this kind of content don't forget to share and subscribe remember the purpose of Synonomics is to create financial awareness so that you can make your own decision analyze the companies and make money with that it's a goodbye from your friend Pankasinha. Sinha